Next plant is number seven on your list. This is Spirea arguta, a okay, garland spirea. This is one of those old timey plants. It's been around for hundreds of years and it's kind of gone out of favor, but I actually really do like this plant. Even though it's, it's kind of unkempt, you can kind of see it's getting a little bit rangy here. So it's time to cut this plant back. One of the reasons why I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna talk about it, in addition that it's kind of tough, is that uh, we oftentimes think that when we put a plant in, it's just there, it maintains, it does its own thing, and it's gonna look good forever. Well, plants have a lifespan. Just like humans have a lifespan, plants have a lifespan. So thinking that you're gonna plant a shrub and it's gonna last you 100 years uh, is not really realistic. And even during its usable or, or uh, worthwhile lifespan, it can take some work. So in the case of Spirea arguta, they can look really great, but it does need to be rejuvenated or hard pruned down to about 10 inches every few years. So I think uh, we're in 2018, and in 2015, these plants were cut down really hard. And in 2016, 17, and 18, they actually were really gorgeous and had really impressive flowers, uh, and the foliage still looks pretty good. We're gonna do two plants, Spirea thimbergii and Spirea arguta, uh, that look fairly similar. Both of them have very narrow, uh, narrowly elliptic leaves that are finely serrated uh, along the margins. They both have this cane-like growth and both uh, um, benefit from rejuvenation. Really the big ID uh, character between Spirea thimbergii and Spirea arguta is the fact that Spirea arguta so again, we're not during the flowering season, but it has this very long, uninterrupted inflorescence. So during springtime when they're flowering, there'll be uh, a foot and a half or more of an inflorescence that is elongated without being branched. Okay, whereas Spirea thimbergii won't be more than eight inches without having a bifurcation or branching. Okay, but Spirea arguta, there's no real serious pest and disease problems. It's quite drought tolerant once it's established. And, uh, and it fills in a large area. So it's not for every situation in the landscape, but for a large hedge uh, such as this, and it could even form a bit of a barrier because it's so dense in its growth. I, I would probably uh, uh, hesitate to use this in a very formal setting, but again, as a branch or as a, a, uh, a bridge between a formal uh, garden and more of a naturalized area, uh, Spirea arguta can be a, uh, a good option. And uh, I, I didn't mention white flowers, okay? So it does have white flowers that are born in early spring like many of our other Spirea. That's Spirea arguta.